I'm here at Glen Helen in front of the Enduro Cross Course uh, with Ron Lawson, which uh, for Dirt Bike Magazine. And, you know, he uh, usually sets up most of the off-road uh, cross-country courses here for the 6, 12, and 24-hour races. And uh, Ron, tell us about uh, what it takes to do the races. Well, the, the thing that really sets apart the Glen Helen endurance courses is the length of the course. We generally get about 10 miles of course out by going up and down the hills, through the motocross tracks, and through the enduro cross section here. And uh, it's real difficult on the riders. It takes a, a lot better endurance to, to get through that kind of course. Okay, well, how do they actually go about doing the race? Do they ride for 10 minutes or 20 minutes, two laps, or what do they do? Well, the 6, 12, and 24-hour races are all team races. They have some solo classes, but for the most part, most teams show up with three to five riders, and uh, and they trade uh, the bike off. They hand the bike off every, well, you want to go about four laps or so around that 10-mile course. So that take about an hour. Yeah, it takes about an hour, and that's about what even a really good athlete wears down. So then when they come in, they trade riders, fill it up with gas. How does that all happen? Well, what, uh, what generally happens is uh, a stock bike can't quite go as long as a rider can. Right. You know, a stock motorcycle, it's only good for about 45 minutes. So you have to either have to take shorter stints, or you're just, you're just running out of gas. Uh, if you can uh, somehow get the range of the bike up to a good hour, an hour and 15 minutes, then you have a huge advantage over it. Well, that means you have to have a bigger tank. Well, bigger you. tank is the best, best way to do it. I mean, um, you see some of the best teams out here, and uh, you can't go to the tank because you wind up with some massive piece of uh, junk that a rider can't work around when he's riding. So what do they use? Now well, around here, most of the riders use IMS tanks because they're a local company and they really know what they're doing when it comes to packing away gas and all the little spots on the bike that you wouldn't think that, you know, with the OE manufacturers don't do it. Right. Also, they have a thing they call a dry break. That's well, essential for this kind of racing because you just have a few seconds when you come into the pits. You've got to get out of there fast. And uh, IMS was innovation for them a few years ago. They looked at the automotive industry, how they were getting gas into the Indy cars, and things like that. Uh, okay. And uh, they adapted that technology to dirt bikes. So it only takes a few seconds to fill up a tank and change riders and get on their way again. Yeah, yeah, the whole pit stop is pretty well choreographed for a good team. It's really sweet to watch a team that's rehearsed come into the pits. Because the rider will, will come in, and he knows exactly what he has to do. He clicks it into neutral, and he'll peel off the cover off the dry brake. And then maybe it'll be his partner or a separate gas guy that stands there with, with the dry brake filler. He plugs it in, and within seconds, he can unplug it. Then the rider covers up the tank again. And uh, you might have one other uh, technician there to lube the chain, check nuts and bolts and all that. But you don't want to have too many people plus per hour. So it takes about, what, 20 seconds, 30 seconds, something like that? Yeah, I mean, a sweet, a sweet pit stop can, can be in and out in 10 seconds. Wow, that's awesome. Well, thanks, Ron. Really appreciate it. No problem.